Hello everyone, this is Christoph here from Intex Studio and let's see what's new in Grid Editor 1.2.10. I have updated the software, as you can see in the top bar now you can see the version number and I have a firmware mismatch detected. Now we have a small guide how to do that. So, reconnect your module in bootloader mode by holding the utility button by plugging in the USB cable. So you grab your module, disconnect it, hold down the utility button on the side of the module, the other side of the USB, and hold connect and it connects up it also opens the module as a removable device. Now come back to the software and hit update firmware. It should just update the firmware as... Uh, yeah. And your module should be visible again. It could happen that uh, you will see a message saying that uh, your module is not connected, although you think it's connected. Sometimes USB connections can act up, so refresh the software and you are good to go. Another thing we made is we updated the profile library. So here if you can open up this profile window, you see that profiles are not found and you should set up a profile folder. And we have some basic profiles already available. Uh, we are hosting them currently on GitHub, but that will change later to our website. So let's go to the preferences menu here in this uh, gear icon. And here is the user library, library settings and you should just hit download profile library. Once you have downloaded the profile library, you can see them here on the side and you just select one and hit load profile to module to see it being loaded onto your module and yeah this is a sequencer profile for the EN16 and it already goes and sends out MIDI data. So the profile library is a bit improved and uh, more profiles to come. Another feature in beta is a page activator, page changer based on the selected uh, window on your operating system. So you probably know about the pages which are currently for uh, cyclable and independent uh, banks of configurations. So here I have these four pages with different colors and uh, I can come here to preferences again to the gear icon and enable the page activator. So whatever your selected window is, then the grid editor can detect it and change the uh, preset or, or your bank on your module. For this, you need to keep the grid editor open. So for example, here in my background, I have Ableton OBS. Okay, and now when I'm selecting different windows, it should change the modules page as well. But why it doesn't work for Firefox? What's the Firefox window title? Oh, it's case sensitive. So you have to go back, hit in F, and now I have Firefox, Ableton, and Discord and OBS. All of these could have different uh, mappings, for example in OBS I could have some keyboard macros for changing scenes, in Ableton then I can have my uh, MIDI mappings and MIDI controls, in Discord I could also have some uh, shortcuts or whatever to control the software. So yeah, this feature is in beta and you have to check carefully what is the active window name. So for example here if I come here and let me show you. So this one is Ableton Live 10 suit.exe. That's what you have to type in. This is Discord and yeah, this is for, for OBS. Beside these features, we have added some cool new animations. For example, this one where you um, interconnect more modules. 
and they are sliding into the center of your screen and in general made grid editor more stable and how configurations can be done through editor on the hardware. Stay tuned for more and thank you for watching. Bye.